Hey guys, this is Hedgehog Gardener, and today I'm going to show you how to make grass in Cinema 4D. So we're going to start off by making a cube and um, resizing it on the y axis. Make it like 30 centimeters and then resize it on the x and z like that, maybe a thousand. And change the all, all, all of these segments to 50 so now we got a oh, a flat cube uh, and now we're going to cl click C to make it editable then we're going to go to the polygon mode and select rectangle selection <laughs> and then click your mouse wheel all, or on this window here and go to the top view and oh and select all of the cubes or spheres or no, no, all of these I don't know, squares that's it, and yeah so now we're just gonna have this top layer here oh, hold on, that's not what we're gonna do first sorry about that, um so going to the model mode again and go to select, no, tools um, I'll find it here. I always forget where it is. Um, here we go. Mesh, transform tools, magnet. And now we're gonna resize the magnet a bit. Um, so the x axis. Actually, we're gonna res yeah, we're gonna make it bigger. So we're gonna make it 100 or 200, 200, and 200. Or something like that. Yeah. And now we're just gonna. Oh, okay, maybe not. So now you're gonna just get this like really point thing. Um, but right. Damn. 100 by 100. You can change the radius. That's it. You can change the radius to 250. And now we're gonna do this so that this part of the um, of the ground is higher than this part. And then we're gonna do that same thing on these sides here, like so. And then we're gonna make it a bit deeper down here. Oh, and middle there too. Let's just check if it's. Yeah, that, that looks good. Um, so now we're gonna go to the top view and go to select and rectangle selection and then select all of it. Right. <laughs> go to polygon mode also and then select them. And now we're gonna go into simulate hair objects, add hair. So now you're gonna see all of these things, like sticks, I suppose, or lines, just going right up. And if you render this out, it's gonna look really bad. So we're gonna go into the hairs, change the count to maybe 20,000. Um, change the length in guides to yeah, pretty much whatever you want. I'm gonna use 35. Uh, so now, if we render it, it's gonna look well. It's still too too few hairs. Or oh, yeah, grass. So change the hairs again to 50,000. Starting to look good. Um, I think we're gonna keep it here for now and maybe change it a bit later. Uh, you can experiment with that until you find the thing you want or the count you want. And so now we're gonna go, we're gonna double click this material. So we get into the material editor and then double click this box here, then arrow on it. And we can change this to some kind of dark green, maybe like that. And change the other one to a bit brighter like that. And now it's gonna be green. 
that looks pretty good. Um, but we're gonna change a few more things. We're gonna, we're gonna make a new material and change. Now there are two ways to do this. You can either make it brown, like so in, so in the brown, or well, any brown, or you can make it green. So we're gonna make two of them. One brown like this, and another one um, pretty much as green as this one. So green maybe a bit darker though, like that. Now if we'll add the brown one, you're gonna see through and it's gonna be brown um, pretty much everywhere. So you're gonna see that it's like missing a few grass straws. But if we'll add the green one, oh come on. Um you're not really gonna see that. It's gonna look like there's more grass than there actually is. So I'm gonna keep it like this, um, green, yeah, that looks the best according to me, well, in my opinion, um, and now if we play, you can see that all the hairs or the grass just falls right down, and if we render it, it looks really bad, so we're gonna go into hairs again, go to frame zero, then go to forces and change the gravity to zero. So now if we play, they're just gonna stay right there. Um, and then we are going to add a sphere. Make it 50 centimeters, radius, or whatever you want. Um, move it over to about here. And so now we're gonna make this sphere. Hold down the hills here and affect the grass. So first of all, we're gonna go and select the cube and the sphere, and go ahead and go to tags, simulation tags, rigid body. And now this is only for Cinema 4D Studio. Uh, it won't work with broadcast or visualize or if you got any other word version. Um, so if you got broadcast, you will probably need to click both of these, or no, just go to MoGraph, Fracture, take both of these, put in the Fracture object, or actually make two Fracture objects. Take the cube and the sphere and put them in two individual ones. Um, select both of them, go to Tags, Simulation Tags, Rigid Body. And then go to the cube one, dynamics body, change the shape to automatic mode dynamics, and change the dynamic to off. So now it's gonna. What the hell? Hmm. Uh, yeah, whatever. Screw that. Um, we, as we have studio, we're going to do it my way. So select the both of them, make them bridge body, and now they're both just going to fall down. So go to the cube, go to shape, mode dynam automatic mode dynamics, change the dynamic to off. So now it's going to roll down, just like we want to. But now as you can probably see, it's it doesn't affect the hairs just rolls right through them. So we're gonna take the sphere, we're gonna go to the tags, hair tags, and hair collider. So now, it's gonna affect the hairs of the grass. Um, so if we run right now, you can see that it moved. Um, and now if you want, you can go into the hair and turn off specular, which will make it not all that white um yeah and we're gonna change the color actually to a bit darker maybe like so okay, this one down there I think. yeah that looks better and then we're gonna add some frizz and 
this is gonna make the hairs well pretty much go every way. So you can change this too if you want. Change the frizz to maybe twenty eight percent to make them not that like, all over the place. Um, and now we're gonna change the count to some five thousand. Maybe. Yeah, that looks that looks better. And let's play again. Remember. Yeah, that looks good. It's gonna look better if you render it as a movie. So let's just add a material to the sphere. And yeah, that's about it. So now let's render this out and see how it looks. Make sure you have all frames selected, otherwise it's not gonna look good. Or <laughs> otherwise it's just gonna be a picture and video boost. change the anti-aliasing to best and you can choose any of these I'm gonna use cubic because that looks better um yeah and then we're gonna render it and this is probably actually let's change this maybe brightness is that gonna nope um let's make this greener like that green. There we go. And let's render again. Yeah, so I'll be back when it is done. So now it's done. And as you can see here. Actually, let's resize this. So you can see that the grass is getting affected by the sphere. And it rolls down the hill like it should. So yeah, I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.